Hey everyone, this is Tim Hinton, the Beast of the Marching Arts. I was recently in Dayton, Ohio for a three-day band clinic with the Alter High School Band. And while I was there, I spent the morning at FJM. I'd never been to their facilities. They were super nice to, to greet me, to spend, spend a lot of time with me, showing me around, gave me some great swag, which I'm definitely enjoying, including this shirt. But it was wonderful to see everybody, how proud they were of everything. And I had no idea quite what a production it was. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was impressive. So thank you to Marlene and Mike Miller, who were there that day to show me around, plus everyone that's on the team there. It was super fun to get to talk to everyone. And you'll see here some video of my uh, visit, walking around the facilities, talking to lots of different people. So thanks again to FJM for the wonderful hospitality. I had a great, great time. Hey, this is Tim. I'm still at FJM and I'm here with Charlie. Charlie, what's your last name? Nichols. Charlie, you're an important guy. What's your role here at FJM? I'm actually the uh, production manager, operations manager. do a lot of different things to keep the production flowing and so forth. Okay, so I'm so impressed with what's going on here and there's a thousand moving pieces and you're sort of the one that makes, figures out the process and makes it all work correctly. Is that that That's fair correct. To say? That's correct. Once we get the orders in our hands, then we start putting all the uh, pieces of the puzzle together to try to understand how we can most effectively, efficiently, and get the best quality of the garments we can coming through. Okay, well, I don't think anybody has an idea of how complicated this is, how, the, how many pieces there are to designing and cutting and sewing pieces together and making sure that the right team has the right stuff when they need it. It's kind of crazy. Well, it's, we uh, I can kind of give you an idea. So a lot of people here have been doing this for a long time, and uh, so why don't I just get started showing you how we? Put okay, the so we're going to go through a lot of the different pieces. And I'm just going to film him explaining it. So I'm excited to sort of share this with people. Yeah. Okay, okay if you can see this. This is the uh, graphics uh, being cut, single plot cutter. The graphics actually, we have a picture taken uh, on each piece. It goes into the computer, and then it goes into the. Uh, the machine up here where it takes a picture of it and then it cuts it. That's exactly right. So it's synchronizing up with the uh, with the black lines on the print right now. And then the machine cuts it. That's crazy. Is it just by taking a picture? That's correct. And almost everything we do, probably 95% of what we do uh, we will have some kind of a print that goes on the front of the jackets, the hats, or the gauntlets. This is amazing. Yeah, this this uh, certainly beats the uh, the old hand cutting way that we used to do things. Wow! So this machine can take a picture and then cut it. That's correct. Amazing. And we also have uh, we also have a contractor that does some of our graphics for us, and they do some cutting as well on uh, any of our overflow that we have here in the busy season. Uh, this is amazing. Cool. Thank you for showing me that. This is where we lay up all of our fabric to be cut for the sewing department. Uh, as you can see here on the table here, we have markers made for each piece of the garment. And these are the uh, collars for the jacket. So once it's uh, being laid up, it comes through to our uh, Paragon Gerber cutter. The uh, machine that we just bought last year, put it into place. It's doing the same kind of thing. It's cutting out the different pieces. 
Yeah, this is actually doing a, you can see where the knife is cutting on the screen here. It's going around each piece as it cuts. It also tells you how many minutes it's going to take to cut this brand of stuff. So this is like a, a great way to save time because the computer can cut it really fast and efficiently, right? That's correct. And then once all the pieces are cut and pulled off of the table, we bring them over here and then we start sorting all the pieces out that you'll be followed up with sewing from that point. Very cool. It's amazing technology. From the cutting department, we'll go into the uh, sewing the assembly of the garments. Okay. And first of all, we have the we have a 12-head uh, embroidery machine Amazing. that we do all of our embroidery with, and we do our, also our design work on embroidery as well. So you put well the piece on there, and then it, the machine embroiders it. Yes, we do. Uh, no, that's very cool. They were they were yeah. showing me this earlier. Oh, so okay, good. I can show you. So we'll turn this on. We're getting it set up for the next operation. So it can do six at one time? Yes, we can do six here and six down there. So we can we can roll through some graphics pretty fast. People don't think about it, but there's a lot of embroidery on uniforms, right? Like there on is. sleeves uh, or a lot of schools do. Yes, yes. And they can have thirty to forty thousand stitches in each patch that goes on. Oh, really? Each, each patch. Yes. Amazing. So you line it up in exactly the right place. This lace is a little bit off, but I want that needle to be in the middle. See, and I know this laser is a little off, but the needle is in the center. Got it. Make sure it'll fit in the loop. Which it will. So now I can start them. Wow. It's really fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it can go faster than that. So they can they can literally be twelve of these happening at one time. Oh yeah. yeah. The wow. University of Alabama was huge for us here. We had we had all these going for a couple of weeks on all them on, Al on Alabama? Yes. Yeah, because we had two pumps. We had two suits. And we had B J M A on the drop. Oh wow. I'm so, so tired of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thank you. This is where we make all of our accessories, the hat wraps, the gauntlets all the accessory pieces that go on the garments. And if you want to come down through here, you can see some of the operations being done. So just a variety of these that, that we make in this department. This is a hat wrap. This is a hat wrap, correct. Cool. So you can see also, they, they come in bundles like this per size. And you've got, uh, so in cutting, for instance, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that have to go together, different fabrics to make this hat, one hat wrap. Okay, so there's sort of a, a row of workers doing the accessory work. Yeah, the, both of these rows here are doing the accessories. Okay. And then, then once the accessories are done, they, they pretty much go into the inspection department. And then we start the garment production. These, these two rows right here actually make all the collars, the uh, epaulets that go on the jackets, and the wings that go over the, the sleeves. Right. So I'll take you up through here to see some of these. You can see some of the collars being made. 
Very These neat. are parts of the collars. All the different pieces of the puzzle. That's right, yes. And we try to keep with our 10, 10 stitches per inch, quarter inch seams on some things and a half inch on others. So here we can see the Dobbins Bennett collars being made. Cool. So we'll be seeing jackets. this on the field this fall. Oh, you will. And you'll be seeing the jackets being made over here in a few minutes as well. Awesome. This is the uh, epaulets that are being made here. And then after they're top stitched. So it's really critical and important that we take these and we make sure that the corners are not rounded. They have to be pointed, okay? Right. And symmetrical back and, back and forth from right to left. So a lot of details in all these pieces. A lot of detail. So this is all organized sort of by teams that are working on certain parts it of is. the puzzle, right? Yes. Okay, now we're getting into the fronts. This is where all the fronts of the jackets are made. This is one of our schools that's gonna be, uh, all the parts are not finished on it yet. Sure. And then this is uh, a lot of different parts going into the front of this jacket. All these seams will be busted open, pressed open before they go to the next operation. And then back here you can see, this is the, uh, the Dobbins Bennett that you saw earlier. These are all the fronts that are made. So we have the, uh, you see the front of the jacket is made at this point. Yeah, wow, with cool. The drill lining in the back of it. Nice. So from this point, it's joined up with the with the back of the jacket and the sleeves for assembly, and I'll show you that. In just a few minutes. Very cool. This is uh, just to show you some work here. This is all Stony Brook, uh, ready for sleeves to be set. All the collars are put in. The embroidery patches are done on the fronts. Yeah, really good. We go into the. Uh, this is Stony Brook here as well. With so the there's a there's a there's sort of a team doing the front, a team doing the back, and a team doing the sleeves. That's correct. And then all That's the pieces correct. come together. All this is coming together. So here's where it's coming into the assembly side, and Dobbins Bennett. See the collars are put on. Right. The next operation is going to be having the zippers put in and the sleeves put in. And somehow you have to organize all of these things so everybody gets their work done at the right time. That's correct. Everything has to be coordinated. If, it, if, if we're not working on the right thing at the right time, a whole department, 22 people, can be without work. Wow. And that, that costs money. So you, you can't let anyone run out of work. Right, and you got to get it all done as fast as possible. That's correct. That's right. Then we have uh, just another example of the front that we're doing <laughs> over here. It, this is this is all solid fabrics here, solid black. These are graphics right here, and these are patches that we sew onto the garment. And some of that is digitally printed, and this, some of it is actually pieces. This, that's correct. This is all digitally printed, and this is the solid. So then it'll go through the same process that the uh, Dobbins Bennett jacket did that I was showing you earlier. Dobbins Bennett was my rival high school. Oh, really? It was. Where did you go? <laughs> uh, I went to Central okay, in East that's Tennessee. Right. Yeah. That's right. I went to school up at Knoxville, so. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I'm a bit cool. of a Tennessee boy myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this operation, this is uh, Stony Brook where we're making the sleeves for them. You see the embroidery that was put on there this is the This is the embroidery that was put on those. And then we're sewing the under sleeve to it. Man, what a production. You can see a lot of Dobbins Bennett. We have them going out next week, so right. that's why everybody's sewing the end of their, on right now. End of their process. Yes, uh-huh.
this uh, we're walking into our bib department. This is where we make all the bib pants right. that are different colors that uh, have different prints on them and so forth. We can do, we probably do about 50 to 75 bibs a day. Wow. This, these two rows right here. And about how many how many uniform jackets can you accomplish in a week, typically? Uh, we can 500 to 550, you know, we can get as many as seven or 750. We've hit 800 before in a week. In one week? In one week. In that one seems week. absolutely yeah. amazing It's a me. great bunch of people here. I mean, well, they're, they're, these are some of the best people I've ever worked with. And, and I've been in this business amazing. a long time. <laughs> What a production, eight, seven or 800 jackets a week. That yeah. seems crazy. Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty impressive what they put together here. So after the, uh, after the jackets are made, it begins to come into the uh, final process, which is bar tacking in the uh, shoulder pads. Okay. Um, and if we have any bar tacking on the collars, that's done here as well. Bar tacking? Bar tack. And that a bar tack is, a, you can see the machine operation here. And you can see that's okay. the operation right there. So then when the jacket I don't think out, anybody ever thinks about how many different operations go into making one jacket there's a lot and and you know the industry refers to this as standard allowed minutes it's called sams standard allowed minutes every garment has so many minutes in it okay and every department has so many hours available so that's what we schedule to and that's how we coordinate all of our production so you have to figure the, out how many minutes can be accomplished for each piece of the process that's right and that's wow. how we get into capacity planning and trying to understand what we can make each week and what our deliveries are going to be and so forth so well you're a very important man if you have to sort of coordinate yeah. all of that see all these people working hard in this and giant space a hundred sewers. Yes. And a couple of contractors too helping us. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. So then from here, Tim, we go back into our inspection department. And this is where we're inspecting all of our gauntlets here. Uh, we put all of our buttons on after that. So finishing touches, so to speak. Finishing touches and then our pressing back here which is not everything's caught up on pressing so i don't have anything to show you there no but, no that's uh, fine but this is pretty much the end of the process and then we get the counts uh put them in the boxes and it goes back into the shipping department wow. shipping to our clients i gotta tell you i didn't expect it to be this big a production i didn't expect there to be this many pieces to the puzzle i don't know what i was expecting oh okay well but yeah it's really impressive that this can all be organized in a way that everybody continuously has something to do yeah well thanks for coming in I, I, I love showing off what these people do here it's pretty well, amazing thank you for letting me take time to see it it was taking time to show it to you very cool Tim this is our stretch wear department it's where we make all of our color guard uh, for fall guard and winter guard and we did a lot of the drum pour in this department this year right and uh, so what we're making here it's uh, the typical stretch wear this is a lot of graphics just like we had in the uh, Cesario jacket line. Right. All right. These cuts typically range anywhere from uh, 15 to 30 pieces uh, per style. Really? Isn't that beautiful? What they're working on right now, you can see the different dimensions and colors and all the parts and pieces that go into this. Well, it's just amazing it with the, the digital texture. printing what can be created. Absolutely. Yeah, they do a great job with that. And then you can see the operations being done here. Pretty much all of it's done with uh, an overlock surging machine. Very cool. Each piece is put together. So this is a bit of a puzzle because of the complexity of the of the parts that FGM puts into their into their product. Right. Um, maybe a differentiator for us from the rest of the market in color guard. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the other guys do. But uh, yeah, we'll do somewhere between uh, 50 and maybe 100 pieces a week depending wow. on the com complexity of the styles. Very cool. Yeah, we're doing a great, great group of people and in you here. You can see a collection of jackets from... Yeah, we, we keep every, one of everything. Right? One of every sample we make and they outline the whole interior of the, of the facility here. And then the mission statement right up on the wall. Everybody can see. 
Watch for two other videos from my day at FJM. First, an interview with Scott Winters about the use of digital printing and how FJM was on the cutting edge of this technology. And also a special video only for members of Marching Arts Education, where Ross Werner shows me a collection of great drum corps uniforms from the past.